liberals came up with this ad against Pierre Poilievre, and it's on X that they're advertising with this ad. They're pushing this ad out. But this ad is so stupid. It's the worst ad I have ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because I like Pierre Poilievre. Like, it's not because you go at a LGBTQ rally without an LGBTQ shirt that you're homophobe, first of all. But they're showing a bunch of things in here that a lot of conservatives are gonna agree are gonna agree with. So like it's ridiculous that they would do an ad like that. It's really useless. This ad is useless because what they bring up is mostly stupid. Let's check this ad out. It's not long, it's like 30 seconds. Posing for photos of a man wearing a straight pride t-shirt. Radical gender ideology. The CEO of Elections Canada has indicated his opposition to it. Uh, and uh, I, let me just say that I am at peace with that. Do you believe that the, the Bitcoin is the best tool for you to transact? Marriage ought to be preserved as a union between one man and one woman. We will fight tooth and nail to, to put a permanent end to vaccine mandates. I was out an overpass as the truckers went by, and what I saw were cheerful, patriotic, optimistic Canadians. We're conservatives, so we don't believe in that. Like the thing about wearing the, the straight pride the t-shirt, it's not him who's wearing it. It's the guy that came and asked him for a picture. You think he called him and told him, hey, can you take a picture with me with my straight pride t-shirt? That's just ridiculous, man. Great burn. It's not him who's wearing it. Radical gender ideology. Like no one wants that, man. Like they just changed election rules to make it easier for people to change like in the last elections. You can just go vote with your election card. And because Pierre didn't want that, most people won't even know what, what he was talking about uh, with election scandal. Now here Pierre is telling people to buy Bitcoin, which Bitcoin is worth what, like $65,000 US now? It's almost worth 90,000 Canadian. It's like 80,000 Canadian. Good burn, guys. Very good burn. And look at that. They're showing like Pierre talking about like marriage between um, is only uh, between a man and a woman. That was in the 90s almost. That was at the end of the, of the 90s. Back then, people were not for gay marriage. And gay marriage is uh, it's legal in the United States. Uh, no, it's legal in Canada. But I mean, it's legal in Quebec. And it's been for a very long time. Like, people don't care about that anymore. Like, when you show people that were racist in an era where people, like, still had slaves, of course they were all racist. They were brought up like that. Fighting tooth and nail to remove the vaccine mandates. Who... And the truckers, like the truckers were bad people because they didn't want to be forced to get vaccines. It's my body, my choice, like you say, eh? <laughs> it's the worst ad I've ever seen. Like, you're not going to make people not vote for Pierre with this stupid ad. It's just so stupid. You look so dumb. I'm black, by the way, like Kamala Harris. Uh, anyways, man, like seriously, man, this ad is supposed to be a burn against Pierre Polyev. It is mind-boggling if you spent money on that. I guess that's all you can buy with your uh, low campaign funds. <laughs> this is so lame. It's the worst campaign ad I have ever seen. You're bringing up stuff that people want to try and make someone look like he did something wrong. Most of the people voting for him are voting for him because of that. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And thanks for watching.